Seven in one, Johnny. <laughs> hey, welcome, welcome, welcome to the tool shed. If you've joined us before and you're already living the shed life, then congratulations. We're glad you came back. Thanks for joining the Facebook group. Thanks for subscribing to the YouTube channel. And thank you for telling your friends to subscribe to the YouTube channel at SE Tool Shed. Crush that. That sounded a little bit like an infomercial, and I just, I loved it. I You're loved having it. fun. Hey, <laughs> if this is your first time joining the Tool Shed, thanks for stopping by. And, you, and we're, we're thankful that you have a curious mind because you probably thought to yourself, like, what is the Tool Shed or... Or what's this thing that everybody's talking about? Well, the tool shed is a place that you can stop by for about 15 minutes every day. And Eddie and I are going to share what we've learned over the last 20 years. And we think that's going to make every job just a little bit easier for you. The tool shed's brought to you by Schedule Engine. And today's episode is sponsored by our good friends over at Emerson. You know who's curious? This cat. What? <laughs> it's true. It's true. It's, I... That's why I hang out with you. Oh, uh, curious. Hey, that was really good, buddy. Oh, thank you. Hey, all right, so what's the ba big idea today? Today is all about next level play. We're gonna be talking about like what level are you playing at and, and uh, how do we progress? And regardless of where you're at in your career, we wanna talk about that. So it's kinda like that, uh, I was, was talking to one of our techs one time and, and he, he, he was talking about experience and he, he said this thing and it was pretty profound. He was like, well, yeah, does, does that person have 20 years experience? Or does that person have one year experience 20 times over? And I think, I, you know, if I'm honest, I've, I've bumped into uh, both of those types of people uh, in my time. And I've also had the pleasure of bumping into some people that had way more experience than the, their years uh, would let you imagine. And, and that stuff, what I've learned, doesn't happen by accident. So we're going to talk about all of that today. But first things first, Gerald. What's today? Today is Monday. And you know what Mondays mean? Mean Monday. Right. So he, first one is a live picture of me getting ready for Monday's show. Let's pull up that first picture. This was uh, just me on the weekend. Uh, I think uh, I look different on the weekend. Can you smell me. what I'm cooking? That's, that's, that's me and uh, constantly upgrading my, my phone plan uh, to keep up with all of the funny, hilarious memes. I, I, uh, I like that picture of me. I, I think that's yeah, You look good there. I caught, caught my essence. All right, let's, let's take a look at the next one. This is a live picture of every installer in church yesterday. <laughs> oh, like getting nudged. They've got a permanent <laughs> bruise in the ribs from like getting nudged awake. Uh, hey, they're up early. It's just, it's just, it's not their fault. All right, let's take, let's take a look at the next one. Ah, yes, this is my favorite. This is me after hanging out in the tool shed for a week with Uncle <laughs> Jerry, <laughs> using jazz hands and saying things like "furthermore" and "hitherto forth" uh, and uh, variable speed. And as if. <laughs> and uh, as if, razzle dazzle. Now that's, uh, we had a great time talking about our dogs uh, in the Facebook group this weekend, and I thought I have to throw that one in, so that's, uh, that's it. Now, this last one is, is also a live look at every HVAC cat when they go out for dinner. That's a true story. That is a nice, yeah. that's exactly what a nice romantic dinner looks like from your wife's perspective or your significant others. Look at the way they reduced it right there. It's like, like nah, that's what I we can't believe do. they threw those grills there, right? <laughs> always getting sat. So that's it. Hey, uh, memes are fun. Uh, we normally do a little bit of a company shout out. Today's a good one. Because I'm not even sure if they watch the tool shed, but I'm going to give them a shout out anyway. The company's name is Salmon Electric. And let's go ahead and put up a picture. And this is why I love it. This is from our great friends at Upper Valley Career Center. We've talked about them before, but they just simply crush it. If you're an instructor watching today, reach out to, to, to Upper Valley. If you're uh, a contractor looking to fill the labor pipeline and you want some good ideas, give, give them a shout out. But here's, here's what they do, man. They had a signing day. I love it. They had a signing day. Look at that. Boom. Now that's the kind of thing I could get excited about. We talked too. about this. You know, uh, we just have draft day. I yep. think, right? Okay. Yep. NFL. NFL. And, and to me, that, that's fun. But man, this is exciting. And so here, I actually have a quote. Tell me if this doesn't sound like somebody that just, uh, just signed to the dream team, right? They said, uh, I'm the young man on the right. And I'd like to thank Solomon Electric for the exciting opportunity to work for your company. Also, I'd like to thank Tony Trapp for helping me get into the workforce and exploring my options within the field. Finally, I owe a huge thank you to Jeff Burke, this man has taught me everything I know. Honestly, I would never have got this far without his guidance. Thank you all. Man, doesn't that sound like like just one of the best sort of like 
thanks mom i'm gonna we're gonna disney world type yeah. like draft day speeches and i'm telling you man we need more of that and it's when we see partnerships with local businesses and the trade school that's how we get um people excited about the trades when they see opportunity when they see a pathway to success and i'm going to Continue to challenge every company here. If you don't know the name of your instructor down at your local Votech, or if you're not speaking at middle schools, you're missing the boat because it's no one else's problem. As they say in Special Forces, expect to self-rescue. So go ahead and uh, let's uh, we we can drop that off. But that's uh, a that was that was a like, when I got that I was like pretty pumped, and it kind of hey, ties to what we're we're, we're talking about. Those today. guys are in on the secret. That's it, man. And we know the secret is the trades are really cool. You can get into it early. You can stay in it for a long career. You can make a really good living for you and your family. Oh my gosh, that's so the true. secret. That's that. That's right. the kind of thing we should be celebrating in our culture. I love yeah. it. All right, so it kind of ties to what we're talking about today. We're kind of talking about like what level are you playing the game at, and the game being you know work and life. Are you playing at a high school level? Are you playing at a college level? Are you playing pro? Like, do you show up every day like the pro? We talk a lot. Like, we're halfway through our eight-week spring training. Champions get ready for the season. That's kind of why we're here. And uh, you know, what do you, what do you, which which way are you showing up, and how are you working, right? Yeah, you have to decide, and nobody can answer that question except for you. Like, what level are you playing at? And I want to remind you that pay comes after performance. Wow. So we hear a lot of a lot of technicians from time to time say things like, "Well, if I had a little better call, or if I if I worked in this neighborhood, or if I had a little more training, or if my company did this for me." And listen, pay comes after performance. Let's just think about last week they had the NFL draft, and Trevor Lawrence got drafted number one into the into the NFL. And but listen, it, it started way back for Trevor Lawrence, kind of like Eddie talked about last week about habits and how you form those habits. As a, as a ninth grader in high school, he took over as the quarterback and won a state championship. Wow. He went on to play four years of high school football, and I think he lost one game. And so he was the number one recruit coming out of high school. He goes to Clemson and as a freshman wins the national championship. Oof, he go goes Clemson. on to play three years in college and loses three games only, only three games in three years. And so he got drafted last week and got paid for that performance, like $38 million. And, he, and they deposited $12 million into his account last Friday. <laughs> now, I don't know if we can do that in, in, in the skilled trades, but listen, the pay comes after performance. And the question is, what are you doing to get to that next level? I love it. There's, there's a saying that says we can all be better at something right we can all be better at something and and we shouldn't wait for others to help us find that something we like we're in charge of our own career we talked about like the you know it's our hand on the the rudder uh, as we steer our career and our life uh and we shouldn't abdicate that responsibility to anyone else jerry it reminds me of the story there was a story uh, it's uh, it's apocryphal it's 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 of a woodsman going through the wood and he comes to this hut and it's cold and he goes in and there's a stove and the, the stove and this woodman have a conversation. And this, the woodsman says, hey stove, give me heat. And the stove says, hey woodsman, I'll give you heat when you give me wood. And he said, well, I'll give you wood when you give us heat. Now, when we're listening to that story, that sounds a little trippy dippy bonkers, right? <laughs> and yet we see this played out every day where it's like, uh, hey, I'm, I'll, I'll get better once, once uh, you know, once they give me the better truck, hey man, if they give me better tools, I'd do better work. Hey man, I, I'm doing the best I can. Look, look at look at who I'm working with, man. I'm the I'm the I'm the smart guy on the team, and I can only do as good as. And there's all of these people that say, when I get, I will be. And the one thing you and I have learned from all the champions we've worked with, champions don't wait; they go first. And and what we realize is that champions decide to go first they just decide to go all in they volunteer they, they mm -hmm. hey do, uh, we need to do a low voltage training class i'll do that sure i'll just come in half hour early and they decide and then all of a sudden magic of magic they get promoted how that's how it like works. it's just magic right yeah. totally un unrelated i'm sure and so so as we're talking about a career by the way you can be in here 20 years and and crushing this aspect you can be like really technical but maybe you're playing your communication game at high school level right you might be 
you might be like crushing your communication, but you might be like still a little hung up about finances and, and, and the cost of doing business and pricing. And you might be playing that at college level. You might, you, you might have some work to do in that area. So today, as you're going through it, like what level are we playing it? And there's, there's lots of different positions, right? Like in the game. And so that's what we need to be thinking of. I love that idea. Like you could be doing part of your job at a pro level. Right. You can actually do the work. But when it comes to asking for reviews, you're like a high school second stringer, yeah. right? Like you're just not good at that. And you can learn that skill. That's the beautiful thing about what we talk about is you can learn these things. And, and Eddie yep. and I have this kind of a, a thing that we talk about like success is an inside job, but we also talk about the fact that, listen, like you, you, you have to find that inside of yourself. Absolutely. Nobody's coming to our rescue. No, no, no. It's, it's, um, it's, it's one of those things. What if, uh, like, I've seen people reach a certain uh, mark in their career. They, they, they've got a lot of things figured out. But what if that thing that you need to up your game in is teamwork? Like, I, I, I can't tell you how many times I've been humbled by, you know, it's, it's someone, they, they say to the, the, the young guy that's uh, just had a baby, for example, hey, you know what, I've had the last 20 Thanksgiving off. Why don't, why don't you take this? I'll, I'll, I'll go on call. Like, what if the thing you need to get better is teamwork, right? What if it's the one when you come around the corner and the dumpster talk is going and it's like, you know, there's a little bit of a, a meeting going on in negative time. What if the thing you work on is like being, being, being the person to always, call, you know, call out and point and take the high road, yeah. right? Lots of things you can work on. Absolutely. But you, you have a, uh, what's that Jim Rohn thing you always say? So, yeah, so Jim Rohn, R-O-H-N, Jim Rohn. He says, like, uh, don't wish it was easier, wish you were better. So, like, that's, uh -huh. a, that's a really good quote that you can use all day today. Don't wish it was easier, wish you were better. Like, there's things you can work on daily. What, like, what would that look like in a uh, customer scenario? Well, let's, let's, just, okay. let's just practice it. So, like, if I was, uh, I, I'll be the technician and you, you can be the customer. And this is the way not to do it. Um, hey, uh, so listen, uh, I, I, it's nothing against you, but every time you're, you, you guys are here, you're always trying to like, it feels like you're just trying to sell me stuff. You've always got a list of magic stuff that I need to do, and I, I just don't know what's going on. Well, you know, I'm just doing my job. I just started. I don't know how those other guys do it. We have some guys that are kind of pushy, but I'm just doing my job. Again, no, what, not, what not Don't to do, do that. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> All right, so. Um, so I'll be the customer. Okay. So Eddie, it seems like, like uh, hey, thanks for coming out, but every time you come out here, you find something wrong. You're always trying to charge me something. Like, what's the deal there? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry that's the, the feeling you've got, and, and I can understand if that's the feeling you've got why you'd, you, you would say that. Unfortunately, I've got a list of what I found, and I can't really speak to what other people did because I wasn't here, but I've made a really thorough list, and I'd love to go over it with you, and we can decide together what makes sense for you today, and we'll take it from there. Okay, sounds All good. Right. Again, I mean, listen, no magic bullets, but, but that you can see how like, there's situations that come up every day, and they're not going to go away. The definition of uh, insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results. So maybe the one thing you need to, to work on is, is dealing with difficult customers. And we've got a whole thing about that tomorrow, like who's, who's the stopper on the team? And we're, we're going we're gonna to dig into that more tomorrow. But you can get the idea, like pick one thing and get better. And here's why this is important, right? There's, the, there's an, another uh, story uh, that, that we hear, and it's, you've probably heard it. It's about the lion and the gazelle. So this morning in the grassy plains of the Serengeti, a gazelle raises from its slumber and it gets up and it starts to look around and it knows today that if, it, if it's gonna survive, it needs to hit the ground and it needs to be the fastest it can be because there's consequences. Meanwhile, a lion raises its head, gives a mighty roar and is ready to be the fastest lion it can be because if, it doesn't, uh, if it's not faster than that gazelle, it and the pride don't, don't eat today. So the moral of the story is, whether you're the lion or the gazelle, get up, hit the ground running, and be better, right? And that's kind of what we're, we're uh, challenging everybody today with, right? Yeah, hey, here's what, here's what you can do with the, the lion and gazelle story. You can decide right after each call to take about five minutes and decide, this is what I did well on this call, Ooh. this is what I maybe could have improved on, Five minutes of reflection time really helps you get to that next level. So today, just do that. Take five minutes after every call. What I did right, what I could have improved on. Champions always analyze their game. 
you're waiting on dispatch getting back to you, why don't you just take the five times, make it intentional reflection time. What did I really crush? Celebrate it, high five, and what can I do better? Love that one, Jerry. That's a great one. Thanks, coach. All right, so listen, Jerry and I will be uh, uh, back in the Facebook group today. We'll be taking questions, comments. We love the messages. Keep them coming. And, and, and all those hard things about the job, make sure you're sending those to us, and we'll, we'll, we'll bake them in, and we'll make sure they've, uh, they've, they've got some uh, uh, answers for you. Uh, hit us up. Uh, be sure to join thousands of people like you looking to make their day, yeah, maybe their life a little easier by joining like-minded people at the tool shed every day brought to you by Schedule Engine, sponsored by our good friends at Emerson. Jerry, take it away. Hey, be good out there so you can do good out there and go crush it today. Be a lion. Rawr. I don't know. That Have was, a great day. That's what I got. Thanks so much. Peace. <laughs>